guys, Eric with Lazy Acres uh, out here in South Texas again. Hey, uh, I'm doing a little follow-up video on the corral, the uh, portable corral system we set up. Uh, we did a video back about 11 months ago. Uh, we set up this portable corral uh, behind us with the 90 degree uh, crowder tub. And now we've got an alleyway and a, and a squeeze chute on it. But uh, we had a question, I think it was yesterday, uh, from someone asking about where we got our panels, how big they are, how big the uh, corral is. Uh, that kind of stuff what we paid so I thought I'd just do a real quick uh, update video so the side we've got that uh, it's uh, two 12 foot panels and one 10 foot uh, walk through door or not walk through door gate uh, one 10 foot gate and two 12 foot panels so it's uh, 20 what does it make it 34 foot wide and then we've got uh, 12, 12, 12, we've got 48, about 58 foot long. We've got uh, four 12 foot panels and a 10 foot uh, 90 degree crowder tub. So, uh, it's a 58 foot long by uh, 34 wide. That's how big it is. Uh, basically, we've got we got up against our barn, so we were able to do that and save one whole side of panel. There's only one panel on that side. So we've got two 10-foot uh, uh, gates. One on either end, so we can bring the cows in from either end. And then we've got a little uh, small walking gate here. And the reason we put that there is so it's right next to the crime truck. So when we're loading uh, cattle or running them through the chute, we can run them through the crowder tub and then we can't get through there once we close that gate so we can come out this way. Come on, guys, for shooting. So we've got the 90 degree crowder tub here and then there's a gate. No, um, no back gate, so they can't go back once you get them into the alleyway. So we'll push them through the crowder tub into here. Close the so as far as uh, where we got it um, and what we paid, we got this from a, a gentleman out of, I believe it's around Houston, um, kind of a small company. I really would rather not say the uh, the name of the company. Uh, if, you, if you really want to know, private message me and I'll let you know. Um, the reason I don't want to do that is because it's probably not the best quality. It works, it's great. They're real quick for setup and teardown. I mean, I love the, the way they work. You know, it's just a quick pin, two pins on each gate. You can take them apart and move them around. That part works awesome. Um, you know, they, they, for the most part, they work pretty good. Um, the problem is, I mean, you can see they're 11 months old, paint's coming off on them. Um, we had a couple of broken pieces when they got here. Um, they're not as heavy duty. I paid for heavy duty. And uh, there was like one gate that was heavy duty and the rest were kind of lighter weight. I think they went to a slightly lighter uh, tube on their heavy duty stuff and we kind of got in the middle of that. And they said they're all heavy duty. So uh, I don't have, I don't want to knock anybody. So that's why I don't want to give out their name. Um, I think they were, like I said, I'll give it to you in a private message if you want to know. Um, I'm happy with them. They work for what we got and they were cheap. And that's kind of the key. It's why I bought them. I know I wasn't expecting a perfect setup. I wasn't expecting the, you know, prefer set up for the price that we paid. We paid 2500 bucks for all the panels and the 90 degree crowder tub and that includes this slide gate. That does not include the preferred alleyway, the no back, and the uh, squeeze chute. But uh, so that's basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 12 foot panels, uh, two 10 foot doors, um, gates, and this small uh, walkthrough door, I think it's a four foot, uh, five foot walkthrough door. And then this 90 degree crowder tub. And this pack. So that's 2,500 bucks is roughly what we paid for that. Um, so, like I said, for that you'd pay a lot more if you were buying that in Freefort. Probably twice at that at least. So uh, I'm not complaining. It works for us. We hardly use it. We just use it when we need to load our cattle or run them through the squeeze chute. And we only have you know, a dozen cattle. So for a small, small ranch like us, this works out pretty well. Uh, if you don't mind, you know, a little cosmetics, obviously, the paint's coming off. And we'll probably have to paint them here within the next year. Um, but overall, they work pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Um, we've got, we did go to Prefert uh, Alleyway here. 
these preferts. I can't say enough. They're really, really nice. Um, we don't have it set up perfectly. We've got some extra chains instead of welding some stuff on because we've got different manufacturers hooked together. But um, this alleyway is real nice. Uh, this, you know, we had, when we originally set this up, we didn't have a squeeze chute. We had that alleyway, the preferred cell foot alleyway. And we had this uh, preferred, I think it's an SO4 squeeze chute with the stand. Um, and that's what we were going to use, you know, until we got to uh, where we could afford a preferred squeeze chute. But uh, that wasn't really working out. We realized we needed a squeeze chute pretty quick. And the $5,000 for the prefer wasn't in the budget, so we went, uh, we went with this uh, Tartar Cattle Master Series 3. So far, it's been great. For as much as we use it, I don't have any problems. It's got an auto head gate on it, um, squeeze, and it's got the access panels on the side. It's got a no back gate on it. Um, so I think we paid $2,200 bucks for that, for that squeeze chute. And uh, when we bought the preferred head gate and, and the two, two uh, and the alleyway, you know, that was like 2200 bucks. So uh, probably got about 10 grand into it, but we're not even using all of it. We did build a little shade here uh, for the animals. We had bought a milk cow and with a calf, and we were going to keep them in here and milk them, but that didn't work out. We don't have patience for that. So <laughs> we're more beef cow guys. So we just got rid of the milk cows yesterday. But anyway, I want to give you an update. Like I said, so we've got 10 grand in this whole setup with the Crowder tub, 58 by 34 uh, with three gates alleyway and a squeeze chute um, actually it's probably a little less than that because we don't take a thousand off since we're not using the prefer gate and the stand so probably nine grand set up for this works out real good for us there's good access everywhere um, pretty happy with it so far anyway uh, if you like our videos uh, click on the subscribe button uh, if you have any questions or comments or um, i'm happy to answer them like i said if you if you do want to know where we got these panels i'm happy to tell you in a, in a private message i just don't want to knock anybody's uh, stuff online the guy was real nice uh, i did try to get some more panels from him right after he delivered and he never responded to me so that was kind of a another uh, sticking point but other than that like i said they're working out good for us i don't want to knock them um, anyway thanks guys have a great day hey guys uh one thing i forgot to mention so the other uh on the only other issue i'm having with these gates is the we have one gate that kind of is sagging it wasn't like that when we got it it's kind of started sagging so um that's just a manufactured thing Anyway, um, I wanted to talk about the uh, the way these things go together. There's just two pins, and that's what makes them so convenient, the portable panels like this. Um, we store our round bales in the barn there, but we're not able to store enough. So we end up storing some in this corral. So when we want to bring the skid steer in and out, um, this gate has a bottom piece on it. We don't want to drive over that with the skid steer because we'll end up bending it. So that's the other convenient thing about these. If you need to drive in with the corral. Okay. Um, driving your corral with a tractor or something, it's super easy. It's like having a 12 foot gate anywhere on your thing. So they're super quick and easy to open and close. Um, as long as you don't try to do it right in the middle, like if you have a long straightaway and you take the middle one out, we did this, the whole thing falls over. <laughs> or it starts sagging. So. They need some strength. Um, we actually took the pins out of one of the corners and it was the only thing holding up at three panels and the whole thing collapsed on us. I think that's gonna be in our bloopers drill. But other than that, I mean, they're they're awesome for access. If you need to get in without uh, going over the bar on your gate, uh, that's these things are great for. Anyway, appreciate it guys. Um, talk to you soon.